एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम वेलकम टू एस चांद अकेडमी सो टूडे I, Dr. Neelam, will be discussing residue and residue theorem. So, for more details, you can refer to the book from S. Chan Publishing. Details are given on this side. Link is given in the description box. So, let us start with the residue. So, residue of any function at any point we need to calculate. For this, we need to know the Lorentz series expansion of the function which has been covered in the previous videos. So you can refer to those videos for the Lorentz series expansion of any function. So we will calculate the residue. As I said that to calculate the residue we need to have the Lorentz series expansion of any function. So let fz be analytic. Let fz be analytic and single valued. and single valued inside and on inside and on a curve c except at the point except at the point z equals to a about which we would like to find out the lorentz series expansion then the lorentz series expansion of fz of fz can be written as sigma a n z minus a raised to the power n n is from minus infinity to infinity where a n can be written as a n can be written as 1 over 2 pi i c f z z minus z naught and here z naught is a so we can replace this with a z minus a raised to the power n plus 1 dz. So this is the Lorentz uh, series expansion. Now the first uh, term which consists of the negative parts that is if I expand this we can write this a1 z minus z0 plus a2 z minus z0 square and so on so forth plus and let me denote by uh, bn as a of minus n so b1 over z minus z0 or so it is b2 over z minus z0 raised to the power 2 i need to take this z0 as a because here we have taken the point at z equals to a so it is z minus a z minus a and so on so, forth. so this b1 or we represent as a minus 1 because here we have taken this assumption that b n is nothing but a of minus n. So either we call it as b1 or we call it as a minus 1. Both are one of the same thing in, uh, uh, in the literature somewhere it is written as b1 and somewhere it is written as a minus 1. So both are one of the same thing it has been shown by both the ways. This is called the residue of fz at z equals to a this a minus 1 or b1 is called the residue of fz at z equals to a so if we substitute it in this expansion in this formula so a minus 1 will be 1 over 2 pi i so here we are left with fz and z minus a raised to the power minus 1 plus 1 so it becomes 0 so it becomes if we are left with only fz dz where this integration needs to be taken place over c so this is called the residue of fz at z equals to a now suppose z equals to a is a pole of order m so if z equals to a is a pole of order k order k then uh, we have already made it clear in the previous videos that what do we mean by pole of order k it means that the principal part of the Lorentz series expansion has m number of terms with increasing powers of uh, z minus a in the denominator then residue of fz 
at z equals to a then the residue of fz at z equals to a will be calculated as limit z is tending to a and then for this we need to differentiate the function n minus k minus 1 time so it is d k minus 1 over d z k minus 1 of z minus a raised to the power k f z. So this integration will be taken place and here n minus 1 factorial will be taken k minus factorial because we are taking the pole of order k. So here this will be the residue of f z at z equals to a if z equals to a is a pole of order k. So then we need to find out the residue of fz using this formula. So we will take one question to make the things more clear. So if fz is z over z plus 1 whole square and z minus 1. So we need to find out the residue at z equals to plus 1. Find the residues. Find the residues at z equals to 1 and minus 1. So at z equals to 1, it is a simple pole. We can see that it is a simple pole. So it can be written as, let, let us say that it is written as gz over z minus 1, where gz fz can be written as gz over z minus 1, where gz is z over z plus 1 square. So z equals to 1 is a simple pole. z equals to 1 is a simple pole. So we can say that it is a pole of order 1. Therefore, residue at z equals to 1. So we will find out the residue at z equals to 1 in which we will be using the previous formula for which we know that it is uh, when we will substitute k is equal to 1 because it is a pole of order 1. So limit z is tending to 1, z minus a fz. So fz here fz and here z is a equal to 1. So, we will substitute this a is equals to 1. So, if we find out this, so this comes out to be limit z tends to 1, z minus 1 fz. So, we will be left with gz. So, gz is z over z plus 1 whole square. So, we will substitute, we will find out this limit. So, it is coming out to be 1 over 1 plus 1 square. So, it is 1 over so, since it was a simple pole at z equals to 1, therefore the residue will be calculated as 1 over 4 using this formula, z minus using this formula which we have calculated, which we have shown in the previous slide. Now, at z equals to minus 1, so z equals to minus 1, we can see that it is a double pole at z equals to minus 1. So, there is a double pole at z equals to minus 1. Since it is a double pole, so we will be using the formula where k was uh, by substituting k equals to 2. So, we will find out residue at z equals to minus 1. So, it comes out to be limit z is tending to minus 1, 1 over k minus 1 factorial. So, here uh, it is k is 2, so it is 2 minus 1 factorial and d of k minus 1, so k is 2, so it is d over dz of z plus 1 square, z plus 1 is square fz, okay. So this comes out to be limit of z is tending to minus 1, this becomes 1, d by dz of z over z plus 1. So, this is z minus 1 because it is z plus 1 whole square into fz. So, this z plus 1 square has been multiplied with it. So, which will be cancelled out. So, we will be left with only this much. So, this a simple differentiation can be taken for this and then the limit will be found out. So, limit uh, z is tending to this one. So, it is z minus 1 into 1 minus z into 1 divided by z minus 1 whole square. So, it is limit z is tending to minus 1. So, it is 
minus 1 over z minus 1 whole square. So, we will substitute z equals to minus 1. So, it is minus 1 by 4 minus 1 minus 1 raised to the power 2. So, this will be the residue at z equals to minus 1 which is a double pole which is a double pole. So, that is how the residue will be calculated for any function where the singularity will be given as a pole or uh, it is a simple pole or a pole of order m. So, that is how we, we have learned that how to find out the residue of any function at some points. Now, similarly, uh, this uh, uh, residues will be uh, used in calculating residues at many points using residue theorem which will be covered in the next part of the video. For in-depth knowledge of the subject, you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing, details of which is given on this site and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for notification for upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.